All right. Uh, we're going to go over a card review of the cards from Legends of Runeterra from the region of Demacia. And I got bored because the uh, preview patch is over. It doesn't come back till November 14th. So I figured I would do a card review from each region, and I think we should start off with Demacia, because that is what I have been playing the most. So, I guess we'll just jump right into it. Maid Seeker Conservator. I think this card's pretty good in the Big Spell decks. Uh, the Heimerdinger deck usually runs Piltover and Zahn and Ionia. But I think that running Demacia is also fine. Uh, this card is very good in combinations with other cards uh, that we'll get to later. Um, the important part about this card is it gives you a random spell of six or more. Uh, the or more part is slept on. Because you can get things like Ruination or Vengeance from the Shadow Isles. Um, this card has saved me many a time versus the uh, She Who Wins. Um, I think it's slept on a little bit. I think it's pretty good. Chain Vest. I never played it. Never saw anyone else play it. Uh, I think there's just better options out there. Uh, yes, it's burst. It cannot be denied from the spell Deny from Ionia. But people can still react against it. Even if you are attacking uh, and you know you're going to play this as a burst to throw an opponent off, even after you play this spell, the uh, enemy still gets a chance to uh, counteract. So yes, it can't be denied, but that's about the only thing it has going for it. Uh, I would not pick this card over something else. Lucky Poro. It's uh, Poro, <laughs> used in uh, Poro decks. Uh, it's actually pretty decent uh, for the Poro decks, but uh, I probably would not go with Demacia if you're playing a Poro deck. Uh, I think Freljord and Ionia are the good combination for the Poro deck. Um, the Ionian Poro gets quick attack, so uh, I think that's a little better then the toughness. Um, plus you get the buff spells from the Ionian deck. Uh, that's the way I like to play my Poro deck, is to buff my hand, buff the Poros, uh, and make a big one with the 5 mana fluffy uh, Poro fluff card from Freljord. It's alright though, for a Poro. Fleet Feather Tracker. Very good. Uh, this card's run in a lot of Fiora decks to get rid of annoying things. Uh, like uh, an Ezreal, uh, it does a little chip damage to an Ezreal. Doesn't full out kill the Ezreal, but it kills Teemo. <laughs> kills the three mana two two draw one card Ionian elusive. Um, solid. Get rid of uh, annoying units that stay in the back. Uh, Challenger makes you pick who blocks it in case no one knew. Um, very good. Radiant Strike. I think it's okay. I've seen better. I've seen people play it. It never really, you know, did anything super cool. Like, oh, I'm going to totally outplay you with Radiant Strike. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, I think it's an okay card. That's about it. I, I probably wouldn't play it in, this, in a very niche deck. Uh, Kithria of Cloudfield. Very good. 2-2... Uh, one mana, great stat line for a one mana card. Has no nothing special about it, but it is an elite. And if you run an elite deck, this card is phenomenal. Water Lookout. Eh, is I never saw anyone play it. I never played it. It's decent stats for a for a two mana card. Don't get me wrong, but uh. I think there's better options, right? It, it's not an elite. It just has one attack. Not really going to kill much. Yeah, it can block a few things, but 
eh, there's better options. Mobilize, slept on. This card, I'm convinced, is super good. This card, in a minion-heavy, like mid rangey deck, like in Elite deck, for example, since we're on Demacian, uh, is busted. This card is nutty. Uh, it's a two-mana spell that can't be denied because it's burst, and it basically gets its value back if you have two minions in your hand. Because it will reduce the two minions in your hand's cost by one, and its cost is two. So it becomes even for two minions in your hand. And this card with some early game draws is disgusting. Especially in the elite deck uh, that runs the two mana 2-2 two -two that buffs your hand, which we'll get to later. I will bring up a combo for this mobilized card when we get to him. Uh, it has to do with the Cathiria of Cloudfield that we just went over, the one mana 2-2. Two -two. This card's disgusting. Do not sleep on this card. Five out of five. Made Seeker Investigator. Complete opposite of Mobilize, straight up garbage. I think this card is terrible. I think you would play this card in some meme -y, I want to detain six things deck, but like, why would I not just pick detain over this card? And if you have no spell in your hand, you cannot even play this card. So this card is actually trash. It's actually terrible. Never pick this card, in my opinion. Of course. Right, Steel Protector, pretty decent. Um, it's a two mana, three two, good stats, gives an ally barrier, good effect. Much better when you're attacking than when defending from my personal experience, but still pretty decent when you're defending. This card is a pretty good card. Vanguard Defender, two mana, two two, has tough. Doesn't die to Avalanche. Doesn't die to Mystic Shot. Uh, these are th the great benefits of this card. It does not just get picked off by a Mystic Shot or uh, an Avalanche. A Drain does nothing to this. Anything that does one damage useless to this card just shrugs it off because of tough. This card is pretty good. Four Chefs. I saw a few people playing this card. I never played the card. It's a two mana two three, not bad. Support give my supported ally plus one plus one, and support is when you are attacking, the ally on the right side of warships will get plus one plus one. So it's not bad, but I don't know of a deck that I would run with this. I I think it's a good card, but off the top of my head, I can't think of a, maybe some weird smorky deck with. Noxious, maybe? I don't know, but I think the card's pretty good. Um, but I haven't played with it. Battlesmith. This is where we go back to Mobilize. This card in an elite deck with Mobilize is disgusting. So, for example, you have Mobilize, you have Battlesmith, and you have two Cathrias of Cloudfield in your hand. You have won the game. It is that disgusting. Turn one, you skip your turn. You get one spell mana from not using your mana on turn one. Turn two, play mobilize. Cost that one spell mana you saved, plus one of your turn two mana, to lower all minions in your hands cost by one. Battlesmith, two mana card, which you would have played this turn, uh, becomes one mana. You play Battlesmith, you basically put laid uh, uh, mobilize for free. But now both your Cathrias of Cloudfield are zero mana, and they are elites. You play Cathria of Cloudfield twice. Turn two, you end up with a 2-2 two -two and two three threes, overwhelming suppression. That This card is disgusting in an elite deck. If you're playing a Demacia elite deck, this card is a must-have of three. It is that good. This card makes games. Purify. I tried playing it. 
I think I played it in my very first deck, right? I was like, oh, it's a silence from Hearthstone, right? But but Hearthstone doesn't have uh, champions. You cannot purify a champion, which is half the stuff that I want to purify. So that instantly cuts it down. I do think it's an okay card. Like, if you have nothing else you really want to put in your deck, and you have Demacia, and, you know, maybe you throw in a Purify or two. I would never run three Purifies, but it, the fact that you can't silence the things you want is really, really annoying. Like, I saw an Ezreal. It's probably, like, the first game I ever played. I was like, oh, it's a silence. I'll just silence Ezreal, so he's no longer elusive, and he doesn't do all this annoying stuff. He's a champion. You can't silence him. I was like, oh, well. That sucks. This card sucks, right? And there are a few followers, like non-champion units, that you'd want to silence. But it's just not that important to silence them, in my mind. So I just never picked up Purify since then. I think it's an okay card, depending on, you know, maybe what the meta is. If people are playing, like, big, you know beefy blockers with you know tough and lifesteal and stuff like that maybe this card's pretty good or the annoying uh undying card from the shadow isles that gets stronger and stronger every time it dies this card could be pretty good versus that too so it has its situational uses it's okay single combat one of the removals for demacia so you kind of have to take it. If you're playing a mostly Demacian deck, this card's very good. Uh, if one of your cards is getting traded uh, unfavorably, you just sack it against something else, uh, force a trade somewhere else before uh, it was going to get eventually traded anyways. So you might as well take something out with you. That's basically this card. Um, it's pretty good. Lucian. I think Lucian's pretty bad. Uh... He is 2 mana, 3 2, with quick attack, which in itself might seem good, but he's a champion, and every time you play a champion, people say, I need to kill that. So this thing gets mystic shotted, it just gets obliterated by every s removal spell seen to mankind. Um, it pretty much can't block uh, ever, but it can't be blocked against for the most part, unless you have more, uh, if you have 4 health or more. Uh, then he just won't attack with it. Uh, I think Senna, who goes along with Lucian, is better. I think Senna is better than Lucian in almost every scenario. Um, you just sack your Lucian with your Senna on the field. You get double attack, and it's a 5-3. And Evolved Lucian is only a 4-3 and has double attack. Like, Senna gets a double attack, has quick attack, and plus, plun, uh, plus one, plus one. Lucian just gets, uh, at first time an ally dies, ready your attack. Uh, no. I'd, I'd rather have quick attack, double attack, and be a 5-3. So I think Senna is just straight up better than Lucian, even though Senna is not a champion card. Uh, and Lucian just gets picked off way too easily. So, uh, I think he's not very good. You can make him work, for sure. But, uh. There's better options, I think. Vanguard Redeemer. Pretty good. Uh, three mana, three, three. Acceptable. Uh, if you attacked first, or maybe your opponent attacked first, and you had a jump block, uh, and it dies, you can just play this and get another unit for free. Uh, it's important that this is a uh, draw a unit, not a draw a card. So drawing a unit makes it not a spell, which can be useful, uh, especially in like a mid rangey elite deck, because this is also an elite. Um, but I think this card is pretty good. Vanguard Sergeant. Eh. It's useful in some decks. Again, it's a 3 mana 3 3. Pretty decent. It gives you a 4 Demacia, which is a 6 mana slow spell. Uh, give allies plus 3 plus 3 this round. Um. I feel like Fort Amasia is just too slow to play. It it feels like you just fall behind if you play Fort Amasia most of the time. So 
But this card in like a Heimerdinger deck uh, that we brought up earlier with a six mana spell or just a big spell deck as we brought up earlier um, it's pretty good. But uh, only situationally good. I would not just put this in every deck just because you needed a three drop or something. Um, but it's okay. Prismatic Barrier. Very good. Uh, very annoying to play against, but very good when uh, you're the one using it. So, uh, mostly used in Fiora decks from when I could tell. Uh, just protect a unit, basically. If something gets challenged, you don't want it to die. You play Barrier. Um, it lives. They can, of course, react by poking it with something like a uh, mystic shot or something to get rid of the barrier before the attack, but still very, very useful. Uh, I wouldn't run this in every deck, but it's definitely good in the decks that need it, especially with Shen. Succession. Don't see why you would play this. It's a three mana spell that gives you a three mana three three, um, but it's a spell that can be denied. So I see nothing but downsides in this. Why would you not just play the 3 mana 3-3 three, three elite? Because this is also an elite. There's a few other 3 mana 3-3s three, elites. I see no reason to play Succession other than in some weird spell deck thing. But this can just be denied and you lost your 3 mana for your turn. You traded 3 mana for 3 mana. I guess you kind of would be happy if they denied this, but still, I don't think this card's very good at all. Standalone. I got destroyed by this card once because no one plays it. Uh, it can definitely catch someone off guard. Um, the important part is that it granite three plus, uh, plus three plus three lasts forever. It's not just this round. So that's what makes this, this card way better than most cards, like Twin Disciplines, for example. Three mana, give an ally plus three, or plus three attack, or plus three health this round. If you have exactly one ally, this just gives it both of these effects, and it's not for this round, it's forever. So if you think Twin Disciplines is okay, maybe try Standalone in some of your decks. It's not terrible, but more often than not, you don't want just one ally on the field. Because that's just begging to be vengeanced <laughs> from uh, the Shadow Isles. Fiora. Eh. Uh, she's very good, obviously. She has a built-in win condition of straight up win the game. When I've killed four enemies and survived, you win the game. Not going to lie, I had a Fiora deck, like most people. The good old Fiora Shen. It was nutty. This, this card is disgusting once you get it going. If they don't have an answer for Fiora, you you just destroy. Especially with the card Judgment that we'll get to later. Even if they don't know you have Fiora, and they used all their mana that round, you can almost win the game in just one turn from, from 20 uh, with a Fiora-Judgment combo if the situations are right. Fiora, very good. Way better than Lucian. We'll just put it at that. On guard, slept on. This card can be nutty. It's a burst, can't be denied. Gives all your allies challenger this round. So let's just say uh, they have a few blockers, some medium, two, two stuff. Uh, you have some weak minions, but you have two strong minions. Let's just say you're ahead in this situation. You play on guard, they cannot block your strong minions because you force their minions to block your weaker stuff and you push in for the win. This has done that for me time and time again. And I see almost no one play this. This card is slept on. This card is disgusting. Uh, situationally, of course. But yes, when it the situation arises, you're going to wish you had this card. Uh, this card's great. Senna. We kind of went over Senna. I think she's better than Lucian. Uh, Laurent Duelist. I think it's terrible. I mean... Eh. Eh. I mean... 
I would never play it, but I could see it being sometimes useful, but like I would rather play the three mana two four that has Challenger on it already. So pretty bad. Dawn Speakers, this card is annoying to play against. Um it's very hard to kill having four health and it pretty much never attacks. It will be sitting in the back for the rest of time while it buffs its uh, allies. So if you don't have a way to remove this, things are going bad. Because even if you block the damage from some oncoming attackers, if one thing dies, all the enemy attackers get plus one, plus one. I have almost single-handedly lost to this card a handful of times. It, this card's that good. It's it's very slept on. Uh, it's amazing once it gets its its uh, ball rolling, but uh, very annoying to play against. I'll put it that way. Relentless Pursuit. I think this card's okay. It can definitely catch people by surprise, where uh, giving yourself another attack in the same round is usually where people get surprised. Um, once people see that you've attacked in your round, they start playing their mana because, you know, they don't need to deny much uh, most of the time. So once they're low on mana and they send it back to you, uh, you can attack again. And that catches people off guard if you were being the aggressor in the matchup. So uh, definitely has surprise potential. It's surprised me a handful of times. Uh, like I put up my blockers... I'm a little behind, I have to trade some stuff away, and then boom, he has another attack. And I'm like, oh no, I just traded everything I had away. Uh, and then you lose. So, this card is pretty good. It has its surprise factor. Throw one into your deck sometimes and watch your roll. Lauren Pro uh, Protege, I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, pretty good. This card's played a decent amount of time uh it's does its thing it's a challenger uh pulls the annoying ezreal to two hit it can't one hit it sadly uh pulls all the elusive annoying stuff against your enemy uh pulls those pesky backline things that sit there like that one mana i mean the the uh one four that buffed your allies we just went over uh it's very good Vanguard Squire, when you summon an elite, reduce my cost by one. Four mana, three, three, eh. If you play one elite in an elite deck, this card's pretty good. Three mana, three, three, not too shabby. I'd, I'd play a three mana, three, three, just, you know, if I had nothing else. Uh, two mana, three, three, great. I like it. One mana, three, three, phenomenal. Zero mana, three, three, yes, please. So, I would if you're playing an elite deck, this, I would put this in every single deck. And, I'm not sure if this is correct, I'm pretty sure this is Caffria Cloudfield a little, a little later on. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I think I saw that on Reddit or something of the other. Made Seeker Insider. I played with this in a big spell Ezreal Heimerdinger deck thing I was working on. I think the other version of this uh, is better. Um, you could technically get this to a 13-4 on turn 4, but the fact that it has 4 health and it doesn't have Overwhelm or anything like that means the higher its attack goes, it doesn't really benefit you much past like 6. Because 6 is the highest 5 mana health card that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so, eh, eh. It's not bad, but I think the other one's better, which we'll get to. Vanguard Bannerman. Okay, so when I was browsing uh, streams and stuff of Legends of Runeterra, a lot of people did not know what Allegiance did. So Allegiance checks the top card of your deck and if it is the same region as the card the buff applies or its effect goes off but 
Like this one's Demacian. If the top card of my deck is a Demacian, all my allies would get plus one, plus one, including this card. So this card becomes a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four, instead of a 4-mana 3-3, three, three, and buffs all my other allies. So in that regard, it's great. But if you're playing like a 50-50 deck, eh, you have a 50-50 chance of just not getting this buff. So it's, a, it's good if you get the effect, not so good if you don't. Um, I would say it's pretty good if you're making a... Uh, a Demacia Elite deck, of course. It's also an Elite. Um, I played it with it a few times. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, Laurent uh, Chevalier. Actual dog shit. It's actually terrible. Um, it's so bad. Like, 4 mana 3-1. Create a random challenger in hand. Why would I not just make you a better challenger, right? <laughs> Why would I not replace you with Laurent Protege or Protege or whatever? Like, <laughs> if I wanted a random challenge, I don't want a random one. I want a one that does something I want or Swifting Lancer, who I think is great, who we'll get to later. Why would I pick you? So this card is terrible. Uh, repost, very good. Uh, mostly used in the... Fiora Shen deck, uh, very annoying when they have like three of these, three, uh, you know, barriers, uh, three twin disciplines, a whole bunch of buffs and get out of my face cards. Very good card. Uh, Lauren Bladekeeper, pretty good. A lot of people played this card. Uh, just granting an, an ally who's pretty weak. Uh, like say an Ezreal or something like that. Uh, a one three, a one three is not that hard to get rid of, even if it has elusive. Uh, making it a three five, on the other hand, is very annoying to get rid of. So uh, this buffs your uh, important low uh, low health, low power uh, minions. I think this card's fantastic. It's not a must take, but it's still really good. Silver Ring Scout. I saw like one person play this card and it was terrible. Um, I personally don't like this card at all. I think it's uh, it has tough and elusive. Okay, like <laughs> okay. I mean, I could just pick like a better elusive card without tough for cheaper. You know, like I I don't understand why I would want this one. Uh, maybe to like chump block elusive stuff, but. I have no. I would. I would not pick this card. Vanguard first blade. So I played with this card a decent amount of times. Don't get confused when it says it's a four mana two two. When you, okay. First of all, don't play this card if it's not your turn to attack. That is a mistake. This is going to get Mystic shotted into oblivion. Um, but on your turn, you can play this. They play something, hopefully it doesn't instantly die. That's where the downside comes in. Then uh, attack with it, and it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Before the attack goes through, and before they even put up their blockers, it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. And then if it lives, it becomes a 6-6, six, six, and then an 8-8. Eight, eight. So once it gets going, it gets going. But I think the risk of it dying before it has the chance to get going is its downside. So I had to drop this card because it wasn't performing as I as I wanted. Uh, but it's definitely not a terrible card. It just has a big flaw in that it's a 2-2 two -two at the very beginning. Silverwing Vanguard. I think this card is terrible. I saw some people play this card. I think it is actually terrible. It is the same stats and has Challenger like the 1-1. One -one. And you get two of them for four mana. Why would I not play the two one ones instead? Like, I, I just lost two mana playing this. That's what I feel when I play this card. If this was three mana, maybe I could see it. Maybe I would play it because, oh, three mana, I get two blockers, right? Uh, I don't have to, like, you know, wait for them to play a card so I can play a card again. But 
for four mana? It's just too pricey for me. Too pricey for two one health minions. Lux. <clears throat> Lux is my favorite champion in League of Legends in the actual game. And I think she's terrible in this game, sadly. I, I really want her to work. I've tried I tried for hours to get a Lux deck to like roll. They just start slamming with them final sparks, right? Just could is she so slow? So you, you need eleven mana to even evolve her the round you play her, which is ideal. Um and to even get the final spark, you have to attack with her, which makes like she's the easiest thing to block because she has four health. So she dies. Luckily, you get your uh, final spark before the attack goes through. So even if you wanted to protect her, you could final spark whoever she is attacking, technically. That seems like the best route to go because there's no really uh, a way to protect her that well. Uh, she's just so slow to get going, and it feels like you're just falling behind when you try to get her going. And the fact that she has nothing going for her before she's evolved, like leveled up, is just heart-wrenching. It's so bad. The only thing she has going for her is a barrier on the turn you play her. Okay? Like, woohoo? Like, what do you want? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, maybe with, like, a Shen, you could get her going by giving her barrier every turn or something like that, but... Yeah, I just couldn't get her going. She's so slow to try to get going. I really want to make a Lux deck work because, you know, she's my favorite character from League of Legends, but uh, I think Final Spark's pretty good. Maybe not for six mana. That's fleeting every turn. So you have to play this or you just lose it, and six mana is a hefty investment. But, uh, yeah, I just couldn't get her going. I tried, but I, I think she's just too slow. Uh, if you guys have any any deck that you are having success with, feel free to you know send me a link or something, because uh, I would be very interested in a in a solid Lux deck. But uh, yeah, I don't think she's she she might be she might be one of the worst champions, uh, honestly, in my opinion, sadly. Swiftling Lancer slept on. This card's actually super good. A challenger with five attack who's relatively cheap. There are some other challengers, like Thresh, or like Laurent Protege, who we just went over. 2-4, eh. A 3-2, eh. Right? Nothing really has 5 attack other than this thing. Uh, but this thing can't block. Uh, nothing really has the beefiness of this card for a lower-ish value. Uh, and once it dies, you just get a free elite. Like, it's it's pretty good. Like, I played this card a bunch. This card saved me a bunch of times. You got Annoying Ezreal, boom, dead. Even that buffed up Ezreal we talked about, the 3-5, this thing kills it. Teemo, dead. That Annoying 3 uh, mana 2-2 two, two, draw 1 elusive unit from Ionia, dead. Like, any elusive thing, anything sitting in the back that wants to be protected, dead. Even if you trade this off, you still get a minion back into your hand. A random one at that, but still, you just... Get a card back. Uh, this card's very good. Uh, Vanguard Calvary. I played two of these in my Elite deck. It's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say it's a must-take or anything like that. But uh, once, once it's down, it's uh, annoying uh, to get rid of. Because uh, well, the fear... <laughs> I've I've been raged at by the Freljord player, or by a Freljord player, sorry, who, who played the five six that buffs every card in your deck by plus one plus one, who's straight up better than this card. But he was like, "How dare you have a five five and yeah, I can't kill it." And I was like, "Dude, you literally played a pretty much the same card that's better. Like I don't understand." <laughs> so yeah, like a five five is annoying to. To, to most players. If they're just playing weaker stuff, like 3-3s, three 
uh, along those lines and you play this, odds are they don't want to attack because this is just going to block it straight up. So this is a pretty good defender in most cases. Back to back, give two allies plus three plus three this round. I think I saw it played once. And that's about that. Like, <laughs> I don't think it's that good. It's definitely not bad. Uh, it's a burst spell, you know, buff two of your things real quick that might be taken out or might be value traded or stuff like that. Um, but I feel like I just want better things sometimes. I don't know. It could be situationally good. Radiant Guardian, the only lifesteal minion in Demacia. That in itself makes it very good. Um, you, uh, Your opponent just straight up attacks. You trade something off. You play this. Uh, or you attack first. They have to, you know, they're like, oh, look, a value trade. And you, you know, trade something off. Uh, you play this. They're instantly sad. Because uh, then every time this thing attacks, you heal for five, which is obnoxious to a lot of decks. Uh, this card's very good. Uh, I think this card should be played in more decks uh, than there currently are. Than there currently are. Sorry. <laughs> this deck, this card should be played in more decks. There we go. Garen. Lux is a uh, big brother. Uh, just better in general. Uh, there's no downside to Garen. Uh, he heals to full after every round, which is really, really nice. Uh, he's hard to kill off other than straight kills like uh, Vengeance or Ruination, stuff like that. Um, when he levels up, which is just pretty much one block and then one attack, uh, you get an attack every round f from then on out. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> I, I would say Garen is pretty slept on. He's a... He's, uh, He's a all around great. There's no downside to Garen. There's no it's hard to get him going like Lux. He's just there. He's good to go. Uh Kithria the Bold. I want to like this card a lot. I've played this card a lot. It just feels feels weird. I think it feels weird because Kithria herself does not give herself fearsome or plus one plus one because every time i play this card i'm like yeah i'm gonna give all my guys fearsome and then they can't block me and i win and then they block kithria i'm like come on dude how you give everyone else fearsome but you can't be fearsome like come on i think if this card got the buffs maybe not the plus one plus one i can see that her being a six man a seven seven a little broken but uh at least give herself fearsome if she can make everyone else fearsome why can't she be fearsome so that just feels bad is that she also can't be fearsome. But everything else gets fearsome, which is really nice. So she's okay. Detain. Only hard removal in Demacia. It's pretty much a must take if you're playing a, a mainly Demacia deck. Uh, I don't know if everyone knows how Detain works, but you have to have a minion. And then you target an enemy minion. And then your minion holds on to that minion until he dies. So this card has saved me versus the She Who Wanders a bunch. Um, it's all in all a great card. If you play it, it's going to get denied 99% of the time. So make sure you you get rid of the denies uh, beforehand. Or just pray they don't have it. Um, but yeah, this is like the only source of hard removal that Demacia has. So it's a pretty much must take if if you don't pair it with another region that has some hard removal like uh you know the uh shadow isles or anything along those lines for demacia kind of went over this already so i'll just skip it not very good it's too slow uh, redoubled valor this card catches people off guard people do not expect others to play this card so if you play that uh five mana five five with lifesteal uh and toughness and then the next turn you play redoubled valor it's a 10 10 with lifesteal and toughness and they don't have any way to remove it they're in deep trouble uh this card is pretty good it has saved me a few times 
uh, mostly just pressing the advantage, or they try to weaken one of my guys to pick them off because they're being annoying, and you just full heal it and double it, and then they pretty much just give up. So this card's pretty good. Remembrance. Just I I never played it. I never saw anyone else play it. Why would I want a random five cost follower um, for six mana when I could just pick a five cost follower for five mana and not pick this card? Like, oh, two of my things died. I get a five cost for four. Okay, but it's a random, right? So, yeah, I just wouldn't pick this card. Mage Seeker Persuader. This is that other version of the four mana card that I was talking about, which I think is much better. Um, just be able to have four 13 stats at six mana is insane. Uh, it's been, you might think that getting uh, like War Mother's Call from Freljord off the one mana one one Mage Seeker Conservator is unlikely. It happens a lot. More often than you think. And so this on turn 6 being a 4, or a 6 mana 4, 13 is insane. This card's way better than the 4 mana uh, gain power, but have 4 health card, in my opinion. Tiana Crown Guard. I think this card slept on a little bit. I've seen a few decks run... Um, What's that card called? Relentless Pursuit. So I've seen cards run Relentless Pursuit. And they catch you off guard for sure. Where they're like, oh no, I'm getting attacked again. Right? Tiana Crown Guard has Relentless Pursuit put into her. Which cannot be denied. Because she is not a spell. And if you take the Relentless Pursuit 3 mana cost off of Tiana, she's a 4 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. So if you're going to play Relentless Pursuit anyways, you might as well just play Tiana Crown Guard. So if you're playing 3 times Relentless Pursuit, I would play 2 Relentless Pursuit, 1 Tiana Crown Guard to just make up for it. Because she basically does the same thing. And she can't be denied. Plus she has good stats. So that's my thoughts on her. I think she slept on a little bit. Um... But she's pretty good. Situationally good, of course, because really there's a lot of decks who just don't need another round of attack. But um, in those decks, like the I think the Lucian decks really like the attack a lot. Um, there she is. She's good. Reinforcements. I played with it a few times. Um, if it gets denied, you feel real fucking sad. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's about the gist of it. Uh, you feel real bad once it gets denied. Uh, you lost your turn, and you get two four fours. I I had to drop it because the amount of times it just gets targeted is uh, tragic. The giving your your at least plus one plus one is real nice, but you could just play the two four mana allegiance cards and get two four fours for eight mana and buff everything by plus two plus two. So like. It's a decent card. It just gets targeted to to oblivion from deny. So, and the amount of people running deny in the preview patch was incalculable. It was so high. So uh, yeah, I had to just drop it because it was getting denied, and I just lost eight mana. So that's how that went. Oh, a judgment. Pretty good. More yelling to be denied cards. Um, but if this goes off with Fiora, uh, and you have the right board, the enemy has the, the right board set up, you just win. You just straight up win. You kill four things in one attack, and you won the game. So uh, this is the Fiora combo piece. Uh, it's also pretty good just to to get back in the game. This, this has brought me back into the game a few times. Uh, the enemy gets real cocky and puts all of his minions up to attack. I put one decent strong... Uh, minion up doesn't even have to like be super strong as strong as the strongest as long as it's half as strong as the strongest health uh it's good to go you place it up the block say you have a three three they have a six six and a bunch of four fours or a six six and a bunch of three threes you put it up the block to six six 
you judgment it, it does three to everything and then trades itself with the six three that well the, the six six that is now a six three. So you clear their board. So this is a very good spell. It gets denied often though, which you can say about any spell in the game, but especially when you're so spell spell less in Demacia for the most part. Um from my experience. The uh, big targetable ones, they'll save their deny for the big ones like Judgment. So, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's definitely good. And Bright Steel Formation, busted. If you get this thing down, you are in a good spot. Uh, especially with like the Shen deck, you just instantly evolve Shen, just straight up, just 0 to 4. Um, and with an upgraded Shen, everything, when you attack, Everything you have gets plus three attack that round. And there's that uh, one mana, uh, one two, that gets plus two attack for every time an ally has been barriered. Nutty. That card's disgusting with this card. Every time you attack, if you have five minions, let's say, it gets plus ten attack. Plus three from the Shen as well, if you place it correctly. It's disgusting. Uh, this card is so good. Um, just broken. <laughs> just absolutely disgusting. And uh, that wraps it up for, for Demacia. So um, I might do the rest of them. I'm not sure. Um, this is my first time ever doing some uh, like live recording about anything. So uh, if you have any suggestions or uh, criticisms, go ahead and let me know. Uh, if you want to see me do the other ones, go ahead and let me know. If you have any cool decks uh, or... <laughs> or know how to make Lux work, go ahead and let me know. Uh, thanks for watching if you made it through all 47 minutes. And uh, thanks.